when I first meet with a patient and we discuss the use of compression garments, there is a wide variety of things to talk about because over the course of the treatment, we first, when a patient first comes in to see me, we're first doing a session of manual lymph drainage following by short stretch compression bandaging. Once we have gotten the limb down to the near normal size or a maximally amount of reduction, then we proceed to what we call compression garments. Compression garments is a wide range of garments involving daytime use and nighttime use. Daytime use would involve, for the arm, would involve the sleeve or a glove gauntlet. Glove would incorporate the portions of the fingertips, the gauntlet would be just over the back of the hand. But it is, they're based on a level of compression. Class one is a 20 to 30 millimeter mercury, class two is a 30, 40, class three is a 40, 50 millimeter of mercury. Generally, for the patients that we see, they'll be in either in a class one or a class two, based on how they respond to treatment. The, the use of these compression sleeves and gauntlets would be during the daytime, whenever they're up and about after sleeping for the night, showering, putting the compression garment on for the daytime. Then at nighttime, they would take that garment off and either rebandage their arm or use some kind of an alternative compression garment. So that's kind of another aspect of compression garment. Those really vary and without going into specific companies, they would, they kind of remind you of like of an oversized Christmas stocking. They're a knitted fabric or uh, um, quilted fabric. Uh, and then you would either add a bandage or a sleeve over that to provide the compression that you need. And it would fit basically from the fingertips all the way up to, to the shoulder. That would be something that you would wear at nighttime as opposed to having to bandage.